An apology today in the Riverfront Brawl case. Four of the people charged appeared in court. One of the men said sorry and entered a guilty plea. Joining us in the newsroom right now, WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith. And Rosanna, you were in the courtroom when Richard Roberts apologized. Tell us more. Val, he spoke directly to Damian Pickett, the co-captain of the Harriet 2 and the 16-year-old deckhand. Roberts apologized for his actions and told Pickett he believed they would be friends under different circumstances. Now, the brawl broke out after a dispute of a dockside spa for boats in August. The 16-year-old Zachin was injured in this case along with his mother they testified one accusation we heard previously was that racial slurs were used before the brawl started now both testified that roberts was not the one who made the slurs today roberts pled guilty to assault mary todd also entered a guilty plea for harassment roberts initially took his case to trial but during a recess reached that plea deal his attorney says they're glad this is behind them you know, I think it's ready just to move on and, and get on with our lives. And I think today, you know, there'll be a no appeal um, and he's accepted responsibility. And uh, again, appreciate the city for the plea agreement and working it out. Roberts received a four month suspended sentence. He'll serve weekends only in Perry County. That starts next Saturday. Mary Todd will go through anger management. Val. All right, Rosanna, now there are three other people charged. Where do their cases stand right now? Well, Val, Alan Todd and Zachary Shipman were in court today. Their cases were moved to next month. And the fifth suspect, Reggie Ray, is also expected in court next month. And Ray is the one seen on video allegedly hitting a woman with a folding chair. We've learned that woman is Robert's wife. Ray is only charged with disorderly conduct and not assault. Richard's attorney says Robert's wife did not press charges charges against Ray and does not plan to. Val. All right, Rosanna, thank you for the update. All five suspects faced misdemeanor charges in this case.